What's up guys, my name is Eric and this is Teach Go High Level and today we're talking about affiliates, how to manage them, how to get them, how to pay them. Affiliate marketing is an excellent way for you to get basically free money. Think about it this way. Imagine that you had products to sell and you have to market them. But what if your friend Jim has already used your product or knows you and tells their friends about you? It's like finding money in the middle of the street. The affiliate manager in Go High Level is an excellent way for you to track your affiliates and people that are referring you and reward them for it and pay them instead of paying for marketing. Now, there's a lot to this and I don't wanna to go too deep into affiliate marketing strategy. There is tons of content online that you can find out about how to do this, ways to do this. This is more about the administration and how to set up an affiliate program. Now, not everybody is gonna use affiliates but a lot of people do referrals. For example, if I had a dog groomer, I would wanna pay a customer that refers another customer. Referrals are an excellent way for you to add profit into your company without having to spend money on marketing. Referrals are super powerful. The fact that you're not utilizing them is a big shame on you because these are people that have bought from you or continue to buy from you that know, like, and trust you. Why would you not wanna give them money? I have a friend who, his referral program crushes it in his business. 20% of his business for his exterior cleaning company comes from referrals. And it's as simple as if someone refers someone into their company and they become a customer, that person that was referred to them, he gives them a $25 Texas Roadhouse gift card. Super powerful. You can still use Go High Level even if you're not sending money. If you're sending money though, this is so easy to track. So in here, you're gonna have your main dashboard for tracking your affiliates. In the drop down menu, you're gonna have campaigns, affiliate, payout, media, and settings. Cause there's a lot of pieces to this. So I'm just gonna go through them one by one. So your dashboard is gonna show you how much revenue you generated from affiliate marketing, what the conversion ratio of these people are, and how many total customers, how many canceled, and how many total affiliates you have. And it's gonna give you really good data, all right? It's gonna track who they are, what your pending payouts are, and that all comes from how you set it up, all right? Now, you can set up a new campaign by going to campaign. We're gonna skip over that and it's gonna take us to the campaign tab. Now, let's say I was running a webinar. I've already built the funnel page, all right? I have a checkout page and everything else. There's a lot of different ways that you can track people that became affiliates and the people that they recruited or referred. You can do it off of a funnel page. If there's a checkout, you can do it off of a website that you have in Go High Level. You can do it off a storefront a form submission, a survey, a calendar booking, or an external website. Either way, you need to tell the affiliate manager, where are these people gonna normally come into your sales process? Because what it's gonna do, when someone signs up to become an affiliate, they will get a special link to your funnel site or your form or your survey or whatever the thing is, so it tracks that, hey, John opted in for more information or John paid oh, John is someone that was referred by Jim. He used Jim's link, all right? When they go through, products that are assigned will show up here. All right, so I'm gonna select that. Now it's going to show me, okay, these products are in your funnel. Great, I'm gonna go next. Now I get to decide if it's a $1,000 product, how much do I wanna give a referral partner? By default, I can do a percentage, or if you have multiple products, maybe it's a flat fee. I'm gonna give them $100 that. Then I'm going to do 20%. I'm going to hit save. Now, the next thing you can customize is how often are they going to get that? So let's say you sell a subscription product of $100 a month. Are you going to pay a commission or an affiliate payout to that affiliate every month or maybe the first two or the first three or until that person cancels? You can decide here. I'm going to go by count. It's going to be one time. Maybe it changes over time. Maybe you give them more in the beginning and less over time. You can do that here. Is it variable? You could have multiple levels. I typically, when I set these up, will just do a one-time payout. If you wanna get really advanced, you can add tiers. There's a strategy to that. After so many affiliates, they go to the next tier. But in general, you just wanna be able to say, thank you for referring this person. We're gonna go next. You're gonna give a description to your campaign. And if you already have some people that you need to sign up, you can add them as long as they're a contact in your database. Last, you wanna open up your additional settings right here. In your additional settings, 
Obviously, when someone registers to be an affiliate, you want to send them an email so you can customize one. All right. This is the really key important part. Cookie life. Let's say Jim refers John. John opts in and doesn't buy that time. Now, how long is the first affiliate available to receive that payout? This is the cookie life. Maybe it's 60 days. Maybe it's 90. Maybe it's 365. You get to decide how long that referral is good for. Depending on your business, it's totally up to you. You want to say, okay, if they opt in last year, but they come back this year, no, I'm not paying out an affiliate commission on that. Maybe you do. Totally up to you. It's your business. Then you select your payout terms. So this is, do I pay them right away? Every 15 days, 30 days, 60 days? Because especially with subscriptions, let's say someone joins and they cancel within two weeks. Well, you don't want to pay out a commission on somebody that canceled, right? So you're going to set your net payout. All right. When you're done, you're going to hit finish. Now it's created. Now when someone signs up to be an affiliate, they will have their own unique link that they can send people to. And your active ones will show here. It will show you how many affiliates you have, how many customers came in through them, how many churned, and how many leads you've, how much commission you've paid out, and how much revenue you've generated. Now, the next thing that you can adjust is you can see all your affiliates. So it will list them all here. If you want to see who your highest paid aff affiliates are or your big earners or your big talkers, these are the people it's going to show you how many clicks they had on their link, how many of their people became customers, how many leads they got. And you can run contests for the best affiliates and give them something extra to incentivize them to do this. Okay. Payout is where you're going to pay them. Now to do payouts from go high level, you have to have a PayPal account. And when I set up affiliate campaigns on the form to opt in as an affiliate, I have a field that says, what is your PayPal email? That's how you get paid. It's easier to collect it when they sign up than trying to chase it down later. Quick tip for you. And then in here, it'll show you what you have pending, what you've approved, and you can deny it. If it doesn't seem legit or if there's some extenuating circumstance, it doesn't automatically approve it. You have to do that depending on the terms that you set, 15, 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it is for your payouts. And those will always be listed here as approved, paid, and denied. Lastly are the media and setting section. So media, this is new. If there's resources you want to provide to your affiliates, such as a video or some graphics that they can use on their web page in referring you, you can put those here and they'll have access to them. And then in the settings section, this is settings for the entire affiliate manager. Okay. In here, it's going to have your default cookie life, your payout terms, and let's say you have a special campaign that has different terms that's okay you're going to set those within that campaign also there's customizations that you can have you can change the title from affiliate manager to referral manager you can change the name instead of calling them affiliates you can call them referrals payouts as rewards campaigns as services you can customize all of that all right now this is where you manage your affiliates, but you may be asking, how do I make someone affiliate? Well, the easiest way I'll show you, the way that I like to do it is I like to build an automation off. I'm gonna create a workflow and my trigger is gonna be form submission. So you'd embed this form on a web page or something like that. And my trigger is gonna be form submission. And then I'm gonna select my form. Form is, now I don't have one, but I'll just pick this one. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. And then your action is going to be add to affiliate manager, update affiliate. There's a lot of things you can do. The one that you wanna do is add to affiliate campaign. Automations allow you to do a lot with the affiliate manager. You can even add leads to an affiliate. There's some more advanced things you can do. You can even add manual sales to that affiliate if you needed to. But just to get them in the affiliate manager, this is the one I like to use, add to campaign. And then you would select the campaign that you just set up. Now, you can tell people, go to abcwindowcleaning.com slash refer, put in your information, and you're eligible. That's one way. They have to opt in to do that. Another cool way is if they're marked as a customer, that's your trigger, and you could have an email go to them and be like, hey, thanks for doing business with us. I don't know if you knew, we have a referral program. Here's your unique link. You can give this to somebody and it'll track them doing business with us. It's unique to you and you'll get paid for referring us. You could automate enrolling them in the campaign as a customer. Lots of options here. This is the most basic way that I use when setting up someone's affiliate campaign. Now, Again, like I said, this is not meant to be an advanced class on affiliate marketing. There is tons of videos out there. 
But this is how you can administer it. It's very simple. Set up your campaign and get people referring you. It's the easiest money for marketing that you don't have to spend because it's people that know, like, and trust you that are telling people how awesome you are and it costs you nothing. Think about it. If someone's going to refer you, why would you not want to say thank you and give them something? It's the best relationship that you can have. There is entire businesses that work off of referral or affiliate only. They spend zero on marketing and they are more than happy to pay people to refer them. So you can administer it all and go high level. You can get super advanced with it. And if you have a question of how would I utilize this in my business, put it in the comments and we'll do videos in our FAQ series of how you would set it up for that unique use case scenario. I'm happy to do those. Again, it's easier to talk about what can't it do versus what can it do? There's a lot of options. It's a giant box of Lego, as I like to say, and it's super powerful. The affiliate manager is excellent and we use it all the time. Again, my name is Eric. This is Teach Go High Level and this has been the series on the marketing tab. Look forward to seeing you in our other series. Check out our other videos if you want to learn more about the different sections of Go High Level. If you have a question, put it in the comments and that'll go in our FAQ series.